Welcome to the Czech Republic. Skoda is now presenting their first fully electric SUV based on the new electric platform of Volkswagen. The name is called Enyaq. And um, we're going to have a closer look now what that car delivers. How about space? How about drivetrain? How about battery? How about range? And all the rest. Let's find out right now. There are eight colors available for the new Skoda Enyaq, but for the Founders Edition, which is the one I'm standing in front of, you only can have two, and this is one of those. Um, the Founders Edition is limited on 1,895 cars, and the reason for that is this is yeah, a reminiscence of the year of the foundation of Skoda, or the start of Skoda. When you look at the front of the car, you do find this black frame grille fully illuminated, which is something I've never seen before. This is an optional feature, but with the Founders Edition it comes as standard. And this is flanked by this very thin Matrix LED headlamps, which are standard with that car, but an optional feature for all the others. Uh, when you look at the front bumper, it's very, yeah, you find very sharp lines, a very wide, very big air intake here, and something that looks a bit like an air intake at the side, and that gives this car, which is only 1,88 meter in width, extra strongness from the front. So, when you look at it, I think this is a thing. If you see that in your rearview mirror, you instantly know this must be this car. Being inside of the new Enyaq, you instantly see and feel this is a completely new and very modern car. That starts with a screen. So you have a very small cockpit screen here, but fully digital. And you have on top this up to 13 inch screen in here, which is of course, uh, not only a touchscreen, it's, it's something that can, you can configure the way you want. And that car on top features Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay wirelessly as well as standard. On top, you do find as an optional feature a completely new head-up display, which now for the very first time features augmented reality. So something really new and very fresh. At the side of the car, you instantly see you drive the Founders Edition because of that batch. But looking at the car overall, it's 4 meters 65 in length, and this is about five centimeters less than the Kodiak. So it's quite a big car. It's only 1 meter 62 in height, and this, this gives the car these special proportions. On top of this, it offers 2 meters 77 of wheelbase, and that really promises loads and loads of space at the interior. But that car should be an SUV, and you may remember SUVs nowadays, they drive on big wheels. So for that car, you can have 18 up to 21 inch alloys, and the 21s are on board here, and that really looks very, very nice. What I really do like with the car are the lines. So the design of the car, look at these sharp lines here, and then look, the rooftop is slightly, the roof line is slightly dropping. We have a window graphic that goes slightly up and that gives the car a push to the front. But I do really like this big fat ass here a lot. And then you have short overhangs front and rear and the short hood. And that really provides the car with a completely special look. There are five different powertrains available for the new Enyaq and they deliver a range between 109 up to 225 kilowatts of maximum output. Important to know is that normally the Enyaq is a rear wheel powered car, but if you buy the 195 or the 225 kilowatt version, you then also got all wheel drive as well. Talking about the space inside of the car, I can tell you, me as a person nearly two meters tall, I sit perfectly here at the front. I can adjust the seats the way I want. I can adjust the steering wheel the way I want. I really do find the perfect seating position. And that's the same for my co-driver. How about behind me? We're gonna find out that while taking a seat right there. But on top of this typical Skoda, you do find loads of luggage compartments. And very interesting is the new center console. It not only features wireless charging up here and two cup, cup holders and a very nice armrest, it also features something down there because you do not have any more any tunnel for the, for the gearbox because this is a fully electric car. And then when we talk about materials, this is something really fresh and new. If you want leather, you can have it. If you don't like leather, you can have this new olive stuff here, which really looks nice, touches nice, and works absolutely perfect. Looking at the interior, you do not expect that this car is featuring a big battery underneath the floor. But talking about batteries, that car offers three different battery sizes. You can have 52, 58, or 77 kilowatt hours of maximum battery capacity, and that provides you with a range of up to 500 kilometers with a fully loaded battery. Talking about charging, you can of course charge that car overnight in your household socket, or you can use a wall box with up to 11 kilowatts, but that then takes about six to eight hours for a fully charged battery. And if you're in a rush, you can of course use a quick charger, but that means you can use up to 125 kilowatts of maximum charging power, and then that car delivers 10 to 80% in only 40 minutes. When we talk about the 
base equipment of the car, it really delivers everything you need. We, we have something like a climate control standard, you find a speed limiter standard, you find a cruise control standard, you do find um, a steering assist like um, lane assist standard and so on and so on and if you want you can configure the car the way you really like your new Skoda and I would say this guy is then the limit. So let's see if there's enough space behind me that will be typical Skoda, but let's find out. So entering the car is easy. And yes, this is a Skoda. You see, I have about five centimeters or more in front of my knees. Yeah, headroom is a bit limited, but we have this big sunroof mounted, but this is still typical Skoda when you talk about space at the rear bench. There aren't many large electric SUVs like the Enyaq in the market. One competitor, however, is the new 210 kW strong BMW iX3. With 4,73 m in length, the iX3 is around 8 cm longer than the Enyaq and offers a range of around 450 km. In terms of pricing, however, the BMW plays in a different league with its starting price of over 68,000 euros. But how about the ID3 from Volkswagen? The entry level model currently costs around 35,000 euros. But at 4 meters 26 in length, the Volkswagen is too small to be a real competitor. But its bigger brother, the ID4, will hit the market soon. The Polestar 2 could be an alternative. It is 4 meters 60 in length, provides a range of 450 kilometers, and offers a very good basic equipment. However, its basic price of currently over 50,000 euros kicks it, like the BMW, out of the race. Looking at the rear of our new Skoda, you not only find the name Enyaq at the rear of the car, you also find this big Skoda signature at the boot lid. Uh, on top of this, the car features completely new taillights. They're splitted, they're in full LED and important. They have very nice illuminated lines up here, and that really gives these lamps this perfect Skoda look, very crystal, something you absolutely expect and already know from Skoda. Looking at the rest of the car, we have this rooftop spoiler here. We have a very um, nicely shaped boot lid. And that together really gives the car from the rear the look you want from a Skoda SUV. Because of its shape, the new Enyaq really delivers a very nice boot. The maximum capacity is with the rear seats up 585 liters. But of course you can fold down the rear bench um, and then that gives you more, but I have no number because Skoda didn't provide us with that. On top of this, this Enyaq of course offers the typical Skoda Simply Cover solutions, like you find these hooks here, you do find the eye scratcher, but no longer under the lid of the tank. You do find it here. And this is really new. And the reason for that is under that lid now, you do find the socket for charging. And to not use all these small caps at all, they find a very clever, typical Skoda solution for that as well. And the good thing with that car, even though it is an electric one, you can tow up to 1,200 kilograms at a maximum. That was my first impression of the new Skoda Enyaq, and I'm quite sure that car will instantly find its buyers when it arrives in the market next year. One reason is it looks like a Skoda and it offers everything you expect from Skoda, like a very nice design, loads of nice technical features like a 13-inch um, display or the new head-up display with augmented reality, and on top, loads of space. And that all comes in Germany to the market for an entrance price of 33,800 euros, and from that you can deduct the money you get from the government on top. So I'm quite sure that car will work in the market. But before I do say this is it, I'm really looking forward for my test drive quite soon.